hope you are now fired up for ultrasound nobology practical. So what we are going to do today, we, as I have said, or as I have talked about the time gain conversation, now is actually the practical application of how then do you adjust the time gain conversation to get the best image. So I now need you to appreciate how these keys work. So now let me take you straight to the uh, time gain conversation keys so you can actually see uh, the arrangement of these keys. So in this arrangement you can actually see what is coming on the screen. You can actually see that our image is almost homogeneous. So the problem with the time gain conversation is you don't have a fixed orientation or alignment that you're supposed to do uh, to say that I'm getting the best image. Structure varies from one structure to another the arrangement of the of the keys. So you, you change the orientation of these as you watch the change that will take place on your on your screen of the image. So I need you to now look at the image and see how it, the change of these keys is going to have an effect on the image quality. So I'm I'm now shifting the lower TGC keys as you're seeing this these lower keys. Let me move these lower keys first and then leave these ones as they are. So see what is going to happen on the on the machine. So moving this, I need you to appreciate what is happening. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? So you can see here, I'm moving them back. You see, I'm moving them back. So you see from below, I move them like that. It's becoming more bright. Let me move it like this. It's becoming, you see there's, there's an art fix that is coming somewhere here. That has become like black. Let me do it again here. Like this, you can see the, the effect is actually increasing. Doing it this way, you can see. I'm now moving the upper keys and you can see it's becoming bright, 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 bright. So let me move back uh, the keys below. You see? That hypoechoic lesion-like structure is disappearing. So you see, I've aligned the, 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 the keys straight like this. You're seeing what's happening here. They are now straight. And see how, how the image is looking like. It's more homogeneous. Let me push this. Let you see this. I'm pushing these ones here. I'm pushing these ones here. I'm pushing these ones here. I'm pushing on this one. You see? So below here, you can see it has just become like more hyper, hypoechoic. Sorry. So it's becoming like an artifact, or there's something, uh, a muscle that is here, uh, which is different from what you have here. But if I take back um, these keys here, if I take them back, you appreciate it's some, somehow gone. Let me move, move them again. You see what is happening here? Is, is, you see what is happening here? You see what is happening here? Is it becoming dark? 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 Yeah, yeah, you appreciate. But when I take this back, this back, it's becoming bright. Bright. You understand? See the, see, see the magic here? It's magical. It's magical. It's magical. Magical, you understand? So, this is what we refer to the time gain conversation. So, you have to move the keys as you are doing the scan from from structure to structure as you try to see where you get the best image. So, if you leave it like this, you can see I am introducing uh, an artifact here at the center here. So this is looking like maybe it's a, there's a free fluid collection there uh, with some internal echoes here, which is actual artifactual. So the value of time gain compensation, it actually clears. Then the image becomes more homogeneous. So you need to make sure that when you are doing your scan, you try to align TGC keys in a way that you produce an image that is almost homogeneous uh, in outline. Uh, then we don't need to introduce. You see what is happening now? You see what is happening? You see what is happening? You see what is happening? This is exactly what we don't like. This is exactly what we don't like. You see how the image is appearing like now? You see? Correcting it, trying to correct it, trying to correct it. So the technique here is for you to, to, to keep on moving until you find a nice image that you see is almost homogeneous. So the idea is for you to move them, 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 until you get what a better image. We don't have a specific arrangement for a different organ. 
at the same time different body habitats needs different alignment of the tgc so you change it from time to time the problem with the most scanners or most sonographers or radiologists uh, they just don't touch uh, these tgc keys so the problem is you are going to create uh, an artificial pathology that actually does not exist so this is exactly what we need to avoid so when you are using this time gain compensation uh, you actually produce you see uh, when you try to align your the image is just coming better and you can actually adjust the other parameters like the brightness the overall gain I'm going to talk about the overall gain uh, as well this is the overall gain I'm going to talk about it but now you can see that uh, with this um, arrangement or this alignment I am actually uh, producing a better almost homogeneous musculoskeletal uh, image so you can see I'm scanning this portion of the of, of the of the thigh so this is the thigh that I'm scanning here so you can appreciate this and then we're having uh, this uh, image that is coming nicely here uh, so this image basically it doesn't have any pathology it's a normal scan but I can introduce artifacts myself you see the, the line that I've introduced so uh, how did this come so I, I, I I'm making it disappear it is gone it's coming it is gone it's coming so what, what am I doing uh, that way for quick line is coming from by using just one this key if I move it here it disappears it if I move it here it comes let me do it this way check the screen it's gone let me bring this here let, I, I brought it here check the screen it's now here there so you see it's looking now like a blood a blood vessel or another hypoechoic lesion that is here that is going all the way so some of the lesions you guys see are artifactual they are not real you are creating artifacts and pathologies because you are not um, adjusting the time gain compensation so let me remove it you see let me remove it it's gone you see this that's magic let me move this again this one no much effect moving this one no much effect just like that so I hope you are appreciating the concept of time gain compensation this is very critical in the practice of medical ultrasound I believe and I also hope from today onwards, you guys are going to adjust the time when compensation every time you do your ultrasound scan. Do not forget to adjust the time gain compensation. I do believe uh, that you take notes as we are going and you grow as we learn. This, uh, I think, is enough for you to appreciate how the time gain compensation works so you don't cram the alignment of the keys in, in terms of time gain compensation you actually adjust the keys one by one until you see that your image is coming homogeneous and at the same time there are no lesions do not try as well to destroy pathology using the time gain compensation let the time gain compensation actually help you to identify pathology so some of the reports that you guys are making and some of the cases that you are sharing they are actually artifacts that are called tgc artifacts so we don't need to induce artifacts i thank you for your time i hope you are blessed stay stay tuned for more as we do our nobology it's a very broad so we do it stepwise in pieces in pieces as we grasp the concept one by one don't forget to subscribe thank you so much